two people, two pups, two boats, and two ways of savoring life. Through the hard work of restoring our heavenly twins catamaran, and through the adventures we take and places we visit on our McGregor 26X. Our channel takes an easygoing, light-hearted approach to enjoying life, one bikini at a time. So if you're up for some sailing and other fun, then we're happy to have you aboard. We post new videos every couple weeks, so hit that subscribe button and we'll see you here next time. And also, check out the links below. We have extended videos on Vimeo, and we also have a Patreon page. Thanks to everyone for watching. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for another adventure on Sailing and Fun. I wanted to show you some scenes from our next video, so we make sure you click the subscribe button or check back with us in a couple weeks to enjoy some of that fun. We're going to try to make a trip out to the reef. We end up going to a smaller reef where we have been before, but we hit it on a spectacular day. And this will be the first time we get to share it with you. So we're looking forward to it and we hope to see you then. And to catch you up, in our last video, we also tried to make it out to the reef. Grecian rocks that time. It was a little rocky for us, so we only spent a couple hours there, and then we headed out for a beautiful, slow, easy sail. at Whale Harbor Bridge where charted it said it was 11.8 uh, meters and on arrival we realized they said meters instead of feet so obviously we can't go underneath it and we are taking a minute to have to lower the mast or drive about an hour to a bridge that we can't fit under. Having to lower the mast was unexpected, but the captain's so good at it, it only took about 10 minutes. And I had a pretty view while I waited. So the human eye can detect more shades of green than any other color. So we're on the bay side here in the Middle Keys and there there's a myriad of greens through here so we should be able to see pretty teeny differences. Right now I call this murky, <laughs> murky green. 
The water in the Keys is beautiful, but it can change from day to day in its clarity. So if you're visiting for just a short while, you kind of have to have luck on your side. Turns out, even with the mask down, we weren't able to fit under that bridge. So we headed down about 30 minutes to the next bridge to give that one a try. There are 42 bridges in the Keys, and only a couple of them we can fit under with our mast up. And actually, there's only a handful more that we can fit under with our mast down. There's a chill vibe here where everyone's just hanging out in the water, drinking and relaxing. There's also a family element and then pockets where there's lots of bikinis, music and more of a party atmosphere. We usually like to stay away from the crowds, so we decided to cross the Whale Harbor Channel over to the other sandbar where there's a little more elbow room. We did find that the water seemed a little clearer over there too. And you're on swimming pool. Swimming pool in our backyard. Swimming pool's open. We also had some neighbors that had great taste in music. 
Sade, which is one of my favorites. Most of the time was spent just relaxing and goofing around, of course. And then the captain wanted to try this camera hack that he saw. It ended up not working out. I just looked like a magic trick gone wrong. The keys are big on trying to protect the grass. It provides a home for smaller fish and also food for others. So I was kind of hopping from sand patch to sand patch and ended up falling off rather quickly into the channel and being carried out. Party sandbars do come with a downside. We're assuming that these things just flew out of people's boats after a long day of partying. They weren't anchored down all the way. So we did our part and cleaned up before we headed out ourselves. And a huge thank you to all of our patrons, the best part of our channel.